Hey viewers! Today we will be taking a look at the uranium-235 chain reaction. This chain reaction is used in nuclear power plants as well as nuclear bombs. If you would like to know how uranium-235 is made, click the screen now or follow the link in the description. Uranium-235 on itself is stable. If, however, an atom of uranium-235 is hit with a neutron, it will absorb that neutron, turning into uranium-236 which is unstable and spontaneously splits into a krypton-92 and a barium-141 molecule. Those of you paying attention will notice that 92 plus 141 is only 233, not 236. The reaction will also generate three neutrons. This is, by the way, not the only way the uranium-236 atom can split. Consider this an example. If the uranium-235 is sufficiently pure, those three neutrons can and will bump into other uranium-235 atoms, creating up to nine neutrons, which in turn can produce up to 27 neutrons. This exponential growth is what's causing the 235 to be such a dangerous substance. With each of these fusions, or rather with each split of the uranium-236 atom, an amount of energy is released. The amount of energy produced by this fission reaction is described by Albert Einstein's E equals mc squared. For more on this, click the screen now or follow the link in the description. The energy that is generated can be used to generate electricity in a nuclear power plant or to create a massive explosion by use of an atomic bomb. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. 